हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ बबल शॉट हिअर आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑल डिटेल्स अबाउट बबल शॉट बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स अँड कीप द वेल रिंगिंग नाव लेट स्टार्ट विथ द third video of this video series is solved example we will see how bubble sort works with the help of example so first of all if you are not knowing about the bubble sort let's overlook the concept of bubble sort it is a very simple method of a sorting it is not at all complex one and it is mainly comparison based algorithm we used to compare the adjacent elements that is nothing but a pair of elements and after comparison we have to take a decision that if both the numbers that we have compared are not into a required order we have to rearrange them and that's why the while rearranging we have to perform the exchanging of the numbers that's why this is called as exchange sort we'll see what is the swapping or the exchange of the adjacent elements so whenever the elements from every pair are compared after comparison we have to swap them if they are not in desired order for example if the desired order is ascending order and if the odd numbers are not present in the ascending order then in that case we have to rearrange them and that is called as the swapping of the numbers now let's see how it works so the step number 1 is that we have as we have compared two numbers if they are not in order then we have to swap them this is called as the iteration and in every iteration the largest number is located at the end of every pair because iteration is nothing but the comparison between two numbers which are adjacent to each other now what we will do in the step number 2 in the step number 2 we'll continue the step number 1 till end of the array that is one by one every pair is going to be compared and we have to take a proper decision after comparison where to swap whether to swap or not to swap and if you are at the end of the array this is called as the pass or end of the pass and at the end of the every pass the largest element is located at the end of the array and these two steps you have to execute repeatedly till your whole array is in a sorted manner so the total number of passes are required in this comparison or in this algorithm are n minus 1 total number of passes required in this comparison are n minus 1 and at the end you will get the data that will be in a sorted order that may be ascending order or that may be a descending order now let's start with the example solved example so let's see this is unsorted array before applying a bubble sort so here total number of elements that are there in your array that are shown over here they are seven in number now let's start to apply the bubble sort and see this is the pass number 1 in pass number 1 in every pass at the number of iterations we have to perform and for that we have to start with the first pair first pair is nothing but the first two elements of your array so let's check whether these two numbers are in desired order or not see we are going to perform the bubble sort on the the set of numbers on uh, and that numbers we want to be sorted into the ascending order so let's check whether these two numbers are in ascending order yes they are in ascending order so that's why no swapping is required let's move to the next pair so i am going to move the window to highlight the next pair 
here you can see that the two numbers they are 8 and 22 they are not in a sorted order the because the first number is 22 second number is 8 these are not in a sorted order so that's why we'll require a swapping between two these two numbers exchanging of the these two numbers is required so let's perform the swapping of these two numbers and after that your array will look like this array will look like this and here you can see that at the end of the swapping or at the end of this iteration the two numbers are in a sorted way the pair is in a sorted that is in ascending order and among these two the largest number is set at the last position of these two and in this way we have done with this iteration now let's move the window to the next pair that is nothing but 22 and 15 again as it is not in a ascending order this pair these elements are not in ascending order so that's why swapping is required let's swap the numbers and after swapping you can see that 15 which is less than 22 is exchanged with 22 and secured the position 15 uh, secured the previous position to 22 now let's move forward for the next pair as these two numbers are in ascending order so no swapping is required let's move to the next pair as these two numbers are not in ascending order so that's why swapping is required let's swap these two numbers and after swapping 28 is occurring at the before position to the 32 let's move forward to the next pair next two adjacent elements again the swapping is required as they are not in ascending order so that's why put 2 to the previous position and 3 to the next position or exchange the position of both of them and at the end we have <coughs> after exchanging the elements we have we can see that the two numbers that is a pair is in ascending order and here you can see that at the end of this pass one the number with the highest weight is settled down at the end position and all the numbers which are lighter in weight they are bubbled up to the previous position and this is the beauty and this is the main aim behind the bubble sort and that's why it is named as bubble because all the smallest elements are bubbled up and heavier elements heavier number are settles down now so this is you can see at the end of pass 1 your array is looking like this now let's move forward for pass number 2 for the pass number 2 we'll consider this array in the in the same order whatever we have done in the pass number 1 the same thing we will do over here let's start with the first pair the swapping is required because both the numbers are not in a sorted order let's perform swapping of both the numbers and after that let's move to the next pair so next pair 12 and 15 no swapping is required let's move to the next pair 15 and 22 again no swapping is required let's move to the next pair 22 28 again no swapping is required move to the next pair and my next pair is 28 and 2 here the swapping is required because these two numbers are not in ascending orders let's perform a swapping of these two number exchanging of these two number and after exchanging you can see 28 is settled down to the next position to 2 and at the end of this pass pass number 2 here you can see that 28 was the largest number among the uh, remaining number and has secured the second last position so here you can see that these are the numbers at the end of pass number 2 let's start with the pass number 3 let's start with the first pair no swapping required for the next pair no swapping required for the next pair again no swapping is required but here for the next pair swapping is required let's perform a swapping of these two numbers and after swapping your array is looking like this and here you can see that 22 has secured the third last position and at the end of pass 3 third last number has secured its position let's start with the pass number 4 a uh, first pair no swapping required second pair again no swapping is required and the third pair again 
swapping is required as 15 and 2 are not in a sorted order let's perform swapping let's perform exchanging the position of these two numbers and your array will look like this and at the end of pass 4 15 has secured the last position now let's see the pass number 5 where the first pair no swapping is required in a second pair swapping is required and now let's swap let's exchange the position of these two numbers and your array will look like this and here you can see that at the end of pass 5 12 also has secured a position and now the last pass that is n minus 1 pass pass number 6 total 7 numbers are there and this is the n minus 1th pass a single pair is remaining let's perform swapping on both the numbers as they are not in order let's perform swapping let's perform the exchanging the position of these two numbers and at the end you, here you can see that 8 also has secured a position and at the end of pass 6 you your array is looking like this and at the end a single element is remaining and that's why the comparison is not possible and hence we will see that now we will include that number into the sorted array and your sorted array will look like this so after including that number your sorted array is the array where all the numbers are there in ascending order so after applying a bubble sort your array will look like this so thank you friends for listening and watching this video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment do not forget to share it with your friends. For your reference, I am providing you a shortcut link in this slide. And I am also providing a shortcut link for the next video of this video series. And the whole video series I am providing you here in the form of playlist. Thank you. Happy data structuring. Happy learning. Thank you.